Greetings everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Now then, most people think of me as a lovely, uh, level-minded, calm person. Very thoughtful in my words. I haven't always been like that. I used to be a member of a group. Let's just leave it at that. And I got in a lot of trouble when I was younger. I got in a lot of fights. Did a lot of bad things. Did a bit of time in prison. But when I found the gods again, or when they found me, I changed. I went back into how I wanted to be, not how other people want us to be. I was very good at the life I used to have. But it's what other people wanted. It wasn't what I wanted. Now I'm living the life I have. I enjoy it. I enjoy the peace. I enjoy the quiet. I enjoy the good things in life. Sit with me cats. Talking to good friends. Camping. Studying about the gods. That's my life. I enjoy it. But yesterday... When the pubs have reopened in the UK, a bunch of, well, young men, but I'd rather call them children, ended up roughly destroying Blythe Centre. Wrecked every pub, fought, had to have the police out all over the place, just because they couldn't handle a drink. That's so annoying. People have been waiting to be sociable after the lockdown. To follow the rules. You know, one metre plus, a metre and a half, two metres between each customer. But no, these young thugs decided just to wreck the place, destroy it for everyone. They can't take the drink. Police were called in force and all the pubs were closed down. So they haven't just ruined it for the self, they've ruined it for everyone. Now this makes me very bad tempered. Very, very bad tempered. I went down to Blythe today and one of the pubs is reopened. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing there. No social isolating. Everyone hugging each other as if there's no virus about. And then one guy, drunk as a skunk, walking across the road, swung a punch at a bloke. He actually swung a punch at a bloke crossing the road. No, the guy was just walking along, and he, this young kid threw a punch at him, swung a punch at him. So I was tired of watching. I could have I walked along. I might be nearly 60. But I was dying for him to take a swing at me. Nope. He just staggered off. No, I don't I don't want to provoke anyone. But these people he put in the place. You know, you can't just take swings at men in the street. Just because you can't take alcohol. Okay, in the past, our folk, our people were a violent race. The Vikings were. The Nordic people were a violent race. But so was everyone. Remember, the Romans, the Greeks, the Egyptians, they all ruled with an iron fist. So the Vikings were no different from them. But in those days, there had to be a reason behind violence. There wasn't just mindless violence. When our people were out raiding, or fighting wars, you couldn't ask for a more aggressive, fierce people. But at home, things were different. At home, if a stranger knocked on our door, we'd welcome them in. We'd feed them, we'd give them drink, we'd give them shelter. This isn't a barbaric people. This is a people who loved the neighbours, who loved the gods. Who love life. But when pushed to commit violent acts, they were very, very good at it. 
Now in full, you can't see him. I love my quiet life. I love my peaceful life. I love studying the gods. People come to me for help. I'll help them. I'll give people my last penny. But when I push the violence, I'm very good at it. I've had years of practice. But I need to calm myself down and not allow these thugs to provoke us. They got the better of us today. I felt very provoked and I did want to get involved today. But inside everyone, there's a demon. And I fight every day to keep my demons at bay. And today, the demon almost got out. But I managed to put the cap on it, carve him down. But these young ones today, they can't control their demons. They are the demons. How can peaceful people expect to live a normal life? When you have complete arsehole and dickheads going round because they're drunk, taking wild swings at people, just trying to punch someone walking past them for no reason except they were there. That is not a man doing that. That is worse than an animal, worse than the lowest of low. Think that he's big in front of his mates taking a swing at a guy in the street. What a coward. Never mind. You know, back home now, thinking about what happened. And in a way, I'm glad he didn't take a swing at me. Because that would have released the rage in us. The demons that's in us would have escaped. And that would have been the first time in seven years. So I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad everything kept under control. And let's hope these demons are controlled for another seven years. Or 14 years. Oh, I'll be 74 then. 73. Okay. Now remember, as a peaceful people, we have to be peaceful thoughtful loving but when we've provoked we have to bring out the viking in we're. when we're defending our own folk our own people we have to bring out the viking in we're. but people won't like that but until then we're peaceful we're teddy bears okay Hail the gods. Hail Thor for the change. Hail Odin. Hail Tia. Hail Air. And let's be the best people we can. Okay. Stay safe. Toodles. <laughs>